what is up you guys dot com here and we about to do some scrolling 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 <laughs> scrolling 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 run through reddit um we're gonna go to r slash music production here in a second but check this out Imagine being a billionaire and instead of drinking passion fruit cocktails in a private lagoon in Kauai with Beyonce and the Dalai Lama, you're an internet punching bag hunched over his phone begging strangers on Twitter for $8. Bro. But hey, you tweeting on his platform. We're going to go to r slash music production now. All right, let's see what we've got here today. Melda Productions, um, stereoscope. If you got a, if you got a cluttered mix and having trouble figuring out how to EQ sounds, it routes either the left, right, and mid side channels to the center, and lets you listen to them individually, isolated. See what this shit talking about. Found that initially mixing with everything pan dead center and through either the left or right mix channel and m stereoscope it's really helpful in figuring out how everything balances in your mix ultimately if it sounds crap through one speaker it'll probably sound crap you're not having to process a cluttered stereo mix allows your brain to focus first on the clashing frequencies and levels once you've got all your sound interacting well through one channel you can turn the stereo back on and start playing more with pan and space. It's really helped me mix down my tracks more. It's like having new spectacles for your ears. Assuming this guy's from UK, because this motherfucker just said the word spectacles for your ears. Either he's a time traveler from the past, and it's just not figuring out all about this shit, or my guy's just from the UK. Um, with that being said, I think you should learn about leveling. I don't know your experience, but if you're not just promoting this plugin, learn how to level your stuff first and foremost. That cuts down on a lot of clashing as well as sound selection, like not necessarily just sound selection but writing too when you're composing each melodic element should have its own space like if you're playing the same keys over each other just through different instruments you're gonna get some clashing so if you have piano and your mid frequency your lead needs to be a higher frequency also on an upper octave basically if you have a spectrum here and your bass takes up the low frequency and then your piano or pad takes up the middle lows and then you have a melodic element or your lead and other low you know give everything its own space in the frequency spectrum in the first place when you're composing and that will translate to your mix because you won't have as much clashing if everything has its own space in the composition in the first place it just translate over to the mix but i will check out this uh M free FX bundle free Hey Give all your instruments their own voice. I don't know. Think I'm done with this hobby. Well,
quit, bro. I mean, if it's really for you, you'll be back. Shit, I tried to quit. <laughs> Never works. I'm always back. Figure out what's going bad in your life and fix that shit. I'm not even about to go through that. I've been using Ableton for quite a while and I'm a beginner, but I'm having trouble coming up with ideas in it. And I hear FL Studio is great for beginners. Should I use that instead? Well, being that you're a beginner, I would figure out how much money you're looking to invest for A, so you don't waste your money, and B, you're not wasting your time. My recommendation, pick a dog, stick with it, figure out the fundamentals. Fruity Loop's great for clicking around due to the piano roll. Um, it's definitely beginner friendly. I would say most people started off on Fruity Loops, but if you've got like some MIDI keyboard and you just got like Ableton Live Lite, yeah, just go ahead and get Fruity Loops. I'm not gonna answer the Ableton or Logic question. I don't have Logic experience. What's the difference between reverse and invert for an audio region? Inverse takes the wave and flips it upside down versus reverse. If you have a wave going like this, it's going to reverse it and make it go like that. Fuck around in your DAW and click and see how it sounds. And answer that for yourself. The AT2020 has been my favorite microphone, even after buying a Rode NT1, a more expensive mic, might I add. The Rode sounds rather muddy in comparison. Any bright signing. Any bright sounding mics like the AT2020 at a higher price range? Bro, just get an AT2020. See, there it is. My boy Equivalent May said it best. If you like the AT2020, why are you gonna go out and waste more money? Hope you guys uh, like that or even give a fuck to listen to my opinion on shit. Figured I'd do this. I don't know. Something like these kind of videos. I might make it a series. Um, I like going through the Reddit stuff and like spewing out the shit that's in my brain because like I'll scroll past this shit and I'll say the same thing in my head. So get it out there some of it might not be pc but fuck it i ain't perfect but shit i try i'm out